Hi, in this video we're going to do a counting question and we're going to answer it two ways. The question is, how many permutations are there of the letters A, B, C? Let's go ahead and do it the first way, which is the fast way, and then I'm going to show you a longer way to do it, which is also really instructive. So we're trying to arrange uh, three different letters. So uh, an arrangement of distinct objects uh, is called a permutation. So in this particular case, um, we have three letters, so there's three ways to choose that first letter. Once we've chosen that first letter, there's two letters left, so there's two ways to choose that second letter, and at this point we have one letter left, so there's only one way to choose that last letter. So the number of ways to choose all three letters by the multiplication rule is 3 times 2 times 1, which is 6. This is also known as 3 factorial. Solution 2 is a little more instructive, I think, because we can list all the permutations. Let me show you how to do that. So ABC is one of the permutations, and this permutation starts with the letter A. So the only other permutation that starts with the letter A would be A, and then you just rearrange these. So these are all the permutations that start with the letter A. Now let's look at all the permutations that start with the letter B. So we have B, A, C, that's one permutation that starts with the letter B. The other one would be we keep B fixed because we're starting with the letter B, and we permute these other two elements, so C, A. These are all the permutations that start with the letter B. And lastly, continuing in a similar fashion, we look at all the permutations that start with the letter C. So it would be C, A, B, and then the other one would be C, B, A. So you can see there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So six. Pretty cool, right? However, this will fail when the numbers get big. Well, it won't fail, but it becomes uh, mentally taxing and difficult, right? When you have like, you know, 26 letters. And that would be 26 factorial, which is a very big number. So you would actually have to list all 26 uh, factorial ways, which is pretty ridiculous. So this is a more effective solution for problems like this. However, it's still important to understand how to do it this way, I think. I think it's good for you. I hope it's been helpful. Good luck.